Hello, today we're going to talk about the HP DL20 Generation 10 and what makes this system special. Many people constantly ask us which server they can use together with switches. They ask for something small that can fit on a rack, and this is it. This system is powerful enough to run a firewall for you, a VoIP system for you, or any other small utility. You can actually run both on this box by virtualizing it. This unit supports up to 64 gigs of memory and up to an 8-core CPU. But in our case, we need something basic, so 32 gigs will be enough. And we're going to use a 4-core CPU. We also installed an additional network card in here, so it would be perfect for the firewall appliance. Okay, we took the top off, and now you can see the internals of the system. If you look at the front, you can see it supports four drives. There's also two USB ports. Here's the network card that we installed in this particular system. You can also add a RAID card, which we're not going to do. We're going to use the onboard SATA RAID controller and a 920 gig HP SATA SSD. By the way, the memory must be ECC unbuffered, which is very different from high-end servers, which use ECC registered memory. ECC registered memory will not work here. Now, I'm going to close the case and show you the back of the system. Okay, now, looking at the back of the system, you can see the four NICs, the two USB ports, the SVJE port. One of the power supply ports is blocked, but we will install it on the other one. Now, I'm going to show you all the components that we're going to install into the system. Okay, here are the components. Also, the system we're using is great because it supports two hot plug PSUs, hot plug hard drives, and it's also very low on power consumption. This right here is the 500 watt power supply that we will be using, and this is the HP, which is a Samsung SSD. Okay. And this is the memory, and as we said, it's ECC unbuffered, and we have four 8 gig sticks in here. The processor we chose is an Intel Exeon CPU. This specific model is the E2134, and it has more than enough power to run the firewall and AVoIP system at the same time. Okay, we installed the memory, the SSD, and one of the power supplies. Now, I'm about to put the heatsink on the CPU. This particular model is very small and low on power. Because of this, it runs very coolly, so it only requires a dab of thermal compound on top of it. Once I place the heat sink on it and tighten it up, it's going to spread evenly. Okay, everything is installed, and the system is connected to the power. We're not going to run any benchmarks on it because there's nothing really special about its performance. It's the size and low power consumption that differentiates this from other systems. It can easily fit in a small rack on a wall, along with your switches, and it's very easy to deploy. This system takes a while to turn on and expect to wait a couple minutes before it boots up. Now, we're going to install Windows Server 2022, a BIOS update, and an ILO firmware update. Okay, we installed Windows Server 2022. We also updated the BIOS, firmware, chipset drivers, and the system management drivers for ILO. Now the system is fully configured and ready to go. We rebooted our system and pressed F9 to enter system utilities so we can configure ILO. Okay, you are now in the system configuration utility. Press system configuration, go down to ILO, and from here, configure the network and user management to your liking. Built an empire of stars.